employee one-on-ones, and questions you can ask. What's up, everybody? This is Kevin Daisy here. So one-on-ones is something that we've been doing for years, having a weekly one-on-one with everyone that you manage or supervise. So in my case, I'm only having one-on-ones with my sales team. If I don't manage them, they're going to be having one-on-ones with their manager. So for me, it's not overwhelming. I have three a week at the moment. So I have three sales folks that work underneath me. I have a one-on-one with each one of them once a week. It takes 15 minutes. So first off, if you're not doing one-on-ones, you really need to consider doing one-on-ones. It lets you keep a pulse on your team, each individual employee, get ahead of things if there's an issue. So some of the things you can ask and how you should spend your time. Now, they should be short, 15 minutes. They shouldn't be a burden on their day or take them off of doing tasks that you hope they get done. So make it quick. Um, But you want to come in and ask things like, how are you doing? And you're not talking about work necessarily in this case. How was your weekend? How are you doing? Any issues that you're having, and it can be personal. uh, It could be at work or whatever, but you're trying to just really get a sense for how they're personally doing outside of the workplace. Sometimes I'll have people say, everything's good. Everything's great. Cool. Can I help you with anything? Nope. I'm all good. And so instead of stopping there and it'd be a two minute meeting and say, okay, well, appreciate it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to start to work on a little bit more questioning and probing, if you will. Um, like, okay, how are you performing? Is there something that I could do or my company could do to help you in the job that you're doing here? Is there things that you feel like you waste time doing in your job? Is there anyone that you are not jiving with or a process that you're not getting? You need education. What would help you do better? Do you want me to back off of you? Do you want me to to manage you more? What do you want? So asking more questions like that to try to get more response versus I'm good. Everything's good. Um, So I feel like when I get those responses, I don't really get everything I'm looking for. Um, And that can happen every week and just everything's all good. And then something pops up and the one-on-ones really weren't uh, effective. So anyway, I'm working on that now. I want to try to dive a little bit deeper and try to figure out um, how I can really help them. Or if they're spending their time all day doing some stupid task that they feel is a waste of their time, I'm going to pull that out of them as well. And if everyone else says the same thing, then we can look at, hey, this is probably something we can outsource or have an admin assistant do or something like that. So um, anyway, one-on-ones, super important. If you're not doing them, you need to do them. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, How to Launch a Seven-Figure Business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million-dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book and we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.